Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah McFall, my MaryMessyLife.com, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural dishwasher rinse aid. Like I said, we're gonna make a dishwasher rinse aid. So this you put in the rinse compartment of your dishwasher to help get the dishes super shiny, get all the soap off, any more food particles off, and it helps to make your dishes come out shiny and extra clean. I haven't always found that dishwasher rinse aids are necessary. It depends on the detergent you use and the water. If you have hard water, maybe you may need a rinse aid because there's gonna be more mineral deposits in your water and this is gonna help get those off. You can also pair this with my natural dishwasher detergent recipe, which I'll have linked up here and you can also find it in the description box below. So this recipe comes from my book, Detox Your Home, which contains more than 80 DIY natural home cleaning, laundry, bath, body, and beauty products. And it also has a whole section on how to go natural and real with your food. You can grab it on Amazon or in the description box below. I'll have it linked. So let's talk about why you would wanna make your own dishwasher rinse aid at home anyway. Well, the reason is the ones in the stores contain a lot of toxins and the ones that are non-toxic are pretty expensive. So if you want to save money and make something that's safe and natural and non-toxic, also biodegradable, stuff safe for the environment, which matters because the chemicals are going down your dishwasher drain and getting out into the environment, it's great to make one at home. Also, it's so freaking easy, so easy. It takes less than two minutes to make this at home. So many dishwasher rinse aids contain things like sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach, they also contain artificial fragrances and also artificial dyes. So sodium hypochlorite is also known as bleach. It causes indigestions, chemical burns. If it splashes up into your eyes, it can cause vision damage or at the very least really hurt your eyes. It can also cause respiratory issues as you're breathing in chlorine gas as your dishes are washing. So I really highly recommend to stay away from chlorine bleach as much as you can, unless absolutely necessary, because it is a very toxic ingredient. Now, of course, sometimes in life, chlorine bleach is just needed. And in fact, I use chlorine bleach. Shh, don't tell the natural police, but I use chlorine bleach every now and then when I have a mold issue or something in my house, I will use it, but I don't recommend it for daily use, especially not in your dishes, because anything that comes from your dishwasher detergent or your rinse aid is going to leave some chemicals on your dishes, most likely. So you really wanna make sure that what's on your dishes is natural because you will be ingesting that stuff. So artificial fragrances are in absolutely everything on the market. They are a class of 3,000 different chemicals. So it's impossible to know which one of those chemicals are in your artificial fragrances. They are toxic because they are bound together by particles of plastic called phthalates. These phthalates are released into the air when you smell the fragrance and they get into your respiratory system, your nose, your sinuses, your lungs. As you might imagine, our bodies don't like plastic. They're like, what the heck is this? Get this out of me. Your body reacts. It has an autoimmune response to the plastic. Same thing that happens with the chlorine bleach, the chlorine gas that you breathe in. And you can have headaches, dizziness, brain fog, moodiness, be sneezing, your eyes start burning. It can just overall make you feel kind of ugh. You can feel your energy drain because your body is trying to fight off a foreign substance that it doesn't like. So I like to scent everything with essential oils instead. It's so much safer and they're actually good for your health. They will help to improve your health. I highly recommend essential oils. And the last thing you wanna stay away from when it comes to dishwasher detergents or rinse aids are artificial dyes. There is absolutely no reason for them to dye our stuff that bright blue color. And in fact, that bright blue color actually harms the environment. It hurts fish and aquatic life, turtles, minnows, frogs, all those things. If you can use something that's not dyed, why not? Why not do something better for the environment if it's easy and cheap to do so? So I would rather not use artificial dyes. Also, if it's harmful to aquatic life, it's not also good for us. So I don't want those things on my dishes. So let's get started in making the recipe. So in this recipe that we're gonna to make today, you can use either vinegar or hydrogen peroxide, either one. Hydrogen peroxide is known as a natural chlorine bleach. So it's a great alternative to chlorine bleach. It's biodegradable, safe for the environment, safe for humans. It's gonna to help to sanitize your dishes, keep them clean. It's also gonna help with the shine. Today I'm choosing to use vinegar just because as you can see, I have a lot of it 
and hydrogen peroxide has been hard to find lately, so I'm going to use vinegar. Okay, so first we need two cups of vinegar or hydrogen peroxide. Then you need two tablespoons of citric acid. Now the citric acid is the key ingredient. It is the secret ingredient to this recipe. Citric acid is able to loosen stuck on particles. It is just a magical ingredient when it comes to this recipe. So trust me when I say you definitely need the citric acid. Citric acid is used in canning, so it's totally safe safe to eat, it's fine for the environment. Now lemon essential oil is great to use in home cleaning and dishwashing because it helps to lift stuck on particles off of objects. So there you have it, we have finished our dishwasher rinse aid. Now you just squirt it into the rinse aid compartment of your dishwasher. For me, I only have to fill it up every couple of weeks. So that's the nice thing, you fill it up, you don't worry about it for a week or two and then fill it up. Now if you're washing dishes every single day, you may have to fill it up more often than that, it all depends on how often you run your dishwasher. I wanna to talk to you about these labels, which you can find in my Etsy shop. I have printable cleaning labels. It's a pack of labels of all of my cleaning recipes from the blog, and you can print them out on waterproof paper. As you can see, the vinegar did not harm the label at all. So I have the pretty side here, and on the back side, I have the recipe for you so that you never have to look up the recipe again. It makes your life so much simpler and easier. And if you just wanna keep the pretty side facing out in your cabinet, you have something pretty to look at, but then it's functional on the other side. So I have these labels available for you in my Etsy shop. So thank you for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, would you give it a thumbs up? Drop me a comment below. Let me know if you would use a different ingredient or do you like hydrogen peroxide over vinegar? Leave me your questions below. I'll be happy to answer them. Also make sure you have subscribed to my channel so you get all my latest updates and videos. Thanks guys, see you later.